We're here at Oshkosh today, one of the centers of aviation for the United States. The first chance we've had to show the A-29 to the general public. Here, in particular, to an audience that understands, appreciate aviation, and can appreciate what the A-29 brings to the light air support mission. A lot of people in the U.S. Air Force have seen the T-6, have seen the AT-6, but they've never had a chance to look at, touch, feel, open panels of the uh, Super Tucano. I think it's an awesome 21st century airplane. I was really impressed that a propeller could, the aircraft could feel like a jet. Avionics, uh, the displays, the ability to uh, actually fly air to ground type uh, scenarios and uh, just the nav and everything else. Remind me a little bit like an F-16 almost. It was pretty nice. I wasn't sure what to expect in the Super Tucano because it's a bigger airplane, but it handles beautifully. The controls are harmonious. Ailerons and elevators work together perfectly. You can just put it right where you want it. And it really feels like a smaller airplane. It doesn't feel that big, except when you're on the ground. That's when you really notice the difference. The airplane was designed for the mission that we're competing for with the LAS contract. It's great to be able to let people uh, ask some uh, detailed questions about a clean sheet design for an airplane that was designed to operate off of austere airfields. You can tell by looking at it, it sits higher off the ground. It's got a much wider stance on the uh, landing gear. The landing gear themselves are much more robust. The A-29 is perfect for the light air support mission. Convoy escort, armed reconnaissance, uh, light attack. It's designed for that mission from the ground up. And certainly veterans that walk by the aircraft recognize that right away. Many of them ask me if this isn't a descendant of the A-1 Sky Raider from their experience in uh, combat in the past. But if you look, this airplane was designed for this mission from the very ground up.